All right, here we go, part two. Example number two, determine the equation of the tangent line, tangent, sorry, to the curve f at x equals x squared at x equals negative two using the limit function. Now, some of you, um, you may learn this by actually plugging in at x equals negative two right away. And that would be fine if it's one question. But let's say it's a question that asks for different types. So, for example, at x equals negative 2, at x equals 3, at x equals 5. The, your best bet is to find the general slope of the tangent line before plugging in the value for x to find it specifically at a particular point. You're going to see examples of what I'm talking about in a little bit. All right, here. What we're looking at is plugging it in. Limit as h approaches 0 of f at x plus h. Well, f at x is x squared. f at x is x squared. So instead of x now, we're going to put x plus h in here. So it becomes x plus h all squared. x plus h all squared minus f at x. f at x is just x squared all over h. What do we do now? Well, we're going to expand that numerator. So we have limit as h approaches 0 of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h. Limit as h approaches 0 of, now once we simplify that numerator, we're going to get, notice that x squared cancels with that x squared, so they're gone. You're left with 2xh plus h squared. What can we do now? Well, hopefully you'll see that the next step is that we take the limit as h approaches 0 now, question comes up, do we have to write this limit? Folks, yes, you do. You have to write the limit as long as you have not applied the value of 0 for h. Note here that in this question up here, if h was 0, it would make the question undefined. So think of the limit as a sort of restriction. It's not saying h is 0. It's saying the restriction on h is that it's so small, it looks like 0, but it's not really 0 so that we could easily simplify a question like this without having to deal with restrictions. The limit helps us avoid having to state the restrictions. So the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 2x plus h. So notice that I'm common factoring an h out of both of these here. I can take out 1h. I'm left with 2x plus h all over h. Those h's cancel, folks. Yahoo! They cancel. And once they cancel, we get the limit of 2x plus limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. What do we do now? Well, now this, what we have here, is the general, okay? Lim the limit will equal 2x. What is all of this? Well, once we put in limit as h approaches, so one more time again, over here, go back a little few steps. Limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. What we do now is we say, okay, h is approaching 0. Plug in 0 for h. Our uh, restriction that we had before, because the denominator would have been 0, is no longer valid here because that denominator is gone. There's no denominator in this question. So we want to make this h 0 so that the limit as h approaches 0, so now make h 0 so that it's negligible, you end up with the value of 2x. What is this, folks? Well, this is the slope. This is the slope of the tangent line, okay? The general slope of the tangent line, okay? So this is the equation of the tangent to the curve. This is not the equation. Be careful. This is just the slope of the, the general equation of the slope of the tangent line. So, again, it's the slope of the equation at any point. So that's for any point at x, at x squared, so x squared being here, this x squared here, this 2x is the slope equation of that parabola at any point. So we need to find the slope of the equation at x equals negative 2. So again, there's that m equals 2x. That was the original slope equation for any point anywhere along the curve. And now we need to find that x equals negative 2. When we plug it in, we found out that m equals negative 4. So now we have the slope at 
at x equals negative 2. So if I was to draw a line at the parabola at x equals negative 2, you would have a tangent line that has a negative slope. In this case, it's negative 4. Now, that's our slope. We need to sub the slope and a point. Now, what's the point? Well, x is negative 2. What's our y value? Well, think about it. You have the equation. Plug in negative 2 into the equation, and you get the value 4, because negative 2 all squared is 4. And what we do now is we need to find the equation. So we're going to sub it in to y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and you end up with y minus 4 equals negative 4 times x minus negative 2. And we all know that when you expand it, you're going to have negative 4x minus 8. So you end up with 4x plus y, and then we have the minus... So one more time, how did we get that minus 8? Some of you are probably trying to figure that out still. Negative 4, don't forget this minus and minus make a plus. So you have x plus 2. x plus 2 times negative 4 is going to be negative 4x minus 8. Once you bring everything over, so this minus 8 is going to go over here. The 4x is going to go over here. So you end up with 4x plus y plus 4 equals 0. And that is the equation in standard form. Or you could have it in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form means that your equation will be y equals negative 4x minus 4. Remember that this is the equation of the tangent line at x equals negative 2. All right, next one. Example number 3. Determine the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 at x equals 2 using limits. All right, so this is what we need to do now is to determine the equation of the tangent to the curve at x equals 2. We're going to do find the general equation of the slope first. The general equation of slope is going to be limit as h approaches 0, x plus h all squared plus 2 times x plus h plus 1 minus x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over h. What does that equal? Well, that equals our slope. That's going to be our slope, or general equation of the slope, along that curve. So we're going to plug it all in, determine the value by expanding and collecting like terms so that, oh, look at this when we collect all the like terms. Look at that, folks. What we're going to see, hopefully you notice, things start to disappear, and you end up with limit as h approaches 0 of h squared plus 2xh plus 2h. That's all, folks, because the x, this x squared cancels with this x squared. Okay? This 2x plus h cancels, or does not cancel because it has an h. This h squared stays, but this 2x cancels with this 2x over here, folks. And then we have a plus 1, and that plus 1 cancels with the minus 1 over here, and you end up with h squared plus 2xh plus 2h, and that is equal to our slope. So once we do that, we can now take out the h, so this is a copy of the last line. We take out the h, common factor the h out, and you end up with, you can cancel those h's, and lo and behold, you end up with x plus h plus 2x plus 2. That's a limit. As it, now we must take the limit. Now we have eliminated our case where the denominator could possibly be 0, so that's now gone. There's no denominator left, folks. So we can now make h 0, and turns out the general equation of the slope of the tangent is 2x plus 2. Now we need to know the specific slope. The specific slope at x equals 2 is m equals 6. So m will equal 6. 2 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. Sum m will equal 6 and the point. What's the point? Well, the point is 2. And then we have to plug in the original equation. So those of you who need to go back and look at the equation. I'm going to go back for a second. The equation is here. So we're going to plug in 2. 2 here, so 2 squared, plus 2 times 2 plus 1. So the answer to that should be 9. So we're going to go here, here, and we're going to have all of that. Oh, look at that. Just let's swing back a little bit. 
and we have m equals 6, we're going to sub m equals 6 and the point 2, 9 into the equation. And what do you get? You get an equation in standard form to be 6x plus y plus 3 equals 0 or y equals 6x minus 3. This is the equation of the tangent line at x equals 2 um, in slope-intercept form. All right, we're going to go on to, oh, looks like we're going to be running out of time here, folks. Let's go on to video three for this particular lesson. See you soon.